recording this vlog and there is still a lot of snow on the ground so hopefully hopefully we do not run into any and we're good to go welcome back to let's talk about corvette zia where today we are talking of course about the 2018 corvette zr1 and now if you are new to the channel by the way this is my 2016 corvette z06 and i said way back when the zr1 was first kind of becoming a thing when rumors of the car were uh, going around and people thought they were going to make one i said that i'd be buying one and i was going to order one as soon as possible and whenever i got new information i would relay that information to you guys and that's what i'm doing here uh, recently i saw a video of uh, definitely some 2018 zr1s testing at laguna seca Now, why is this exciting? Well, it's exciting, at least to me, maybe not to a Honda enthusiast, but it's exciting to me, and I'm assuming to most people, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, you can tell that these cars are, uh, at least in my opinion, pretty much production car ready. And if they weren't ready for the street, if they weren't ready uh, for all the normal stuff, they wouldn't even bother testing it on the track yet. So uh, my thinking is that this, is, this car is very close uh, to being ready to go on sale. And that's cool because maybe Maybe we'll even see it at the New York Auto Show coming up next month, which is great for everybody, but it would be really cool for me because I will be at that show. Um, so that would be great uh, to see that there. And another really cool thing about it is, you know, you might say, well, they're testing the suspension, they're trying to dial it in for the track, and they're making some uh, final adjustments, some small things here and there, and then the car will be ready. But I think personally that we're past that. I don't think Chevrolet's uh, testing the car to make adjustments. I think they're testing the car for a lap time. Why do I think that? And again, this is just a theory, so I don't know for sure. Everything I'm saying here, take it with a grain of salt, but look at the track. It's Laguna Seca. And what two cars and what two car companies have been battling it out at that track for a long time? The Corvette and the Viper, Dodge and Chevy. And what car is the current record holder at that track? Well, it's the Viper ACR. And I would think that Chevrolet wants to release this car and they want to sell it and say this is now the king of the hill. And I think that they're trying to beat the Viper ACR at Laguna Seca. That's what I think they're doing. Or they're at least trying to get uh, some lap times and see where they are in relation to that car. And I think it's important because if Chevrolet beats the Viper ACR, not only is it important for them to do that because it's you know the whole American thing, uh, but it would also be great because if they can beat the ACR, that means they can beat just about everything else because the Viper was beating Ferraris, McLarens, whatever. And I know that although, let's, let's start with this, although the Viper and the Corvette compete on track, they don't really compete in sales. They're not really, you know, you don't really cross shop them. They each have a, a fan base. People are going to buy the Corvette regardless because, you know, there's always going to be those Corvette buyers who want the, the best one, the bigger one, the next one up or whatever. Um, but I think that it's important for Corvette if they want to attract new people and not just have the old people buy it. I think it is important for them to be able to say, look, we now have the most track capable production car you can buy. And if they can beat the ACR, like I said, they can say that. It looks like there's going to be two options packages available as far as the arrow is concerned, one with a small wing and one with a big wing. Now, maybe you buy it and you can put on whichever one you want, but I think you're going to have two options just like the Z06, you can get a regular one like I have, or you can get a Z07 package car. So I think we're going to see something similar to that. And here's the big one. Here's the kicker. Uh, I thought way back in the day, I was like this new ZR1 when it was not going to be mid-engine and it wasn't going to be a whole new thing and it was going to be a C7. I was like, okay, they're going to use the LT4 from the Z06, the same engine that you can find in the CTSV and the new ZL1. And the reason I thought that is because, you know, they spent a lot of time, effort, and money developing this engine, and it was only in the Corvette for 2015, 16, and now 17. So, you know, just a couple of years, even though it will see use in those other cars, I thought that there's a lot more to go with this engine. You know, I, I feel like if they put a different supercharger on it and did some other things, you know, they could get to that 700 or 750 horsepower goal that they were looking for. But from the sound of it, now I don't know, it's not the clearest audio. doesn't 
sound to me like an LT4, and that's really exciting because, um, you know, when I did find out that the Z06, or sorry, the ZR1 wasn't gonna be mid-engine, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, okay, this is gonna be, the zr one's gonna be like a Z06 Plus and not gonna be something totally unique, but knowing this now with the new engine, that's gonna differentiate it a lot. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Again, I don't know, so don't quote me on that. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy and I'm looking forward to sound different, but to me, it didn't sound quite the same. Some other things that we don't know yet, uh, we don't know about pricing, although I've heard some people recently say it's gonna be like 130,000 but I think 130 K is a lot of money and I don't think it's gonna be that much uh, remember one of the problems with the ACR was it was a little too expensive now for me as an enthusiast I think it was totally worth it but I think for some people they would spend a little bit more and step up to you know a supercar even though again to me Viper Z06 totally supercars and better than than all that bullshit for a lot less money um, but that's just me I'm an American car fanboy a bigger price tag would mean that the car could be more exclusive, but Chevrolet has already demonstrated that they don't care about that. They care much more about sales volume. Um, the proof is you can get a Z06 as a convertible or with an automatic, and the sales numbers don't lie. Even though I prefer the manual, and I think that that is kind of the right way to do it, um, you know, the sales numbers don't lie. The auto, not just in the Z06 and Corvettes in general, far outsells the manual, um, which was another downfall of the Viper, by the way. So. Um, you know, I think that the price is going to stay low. We also don't know about the transmission, although pretty sure it's going to be the eight speed in the current Corvette, which is kind of surprising why they wouldn't use the 10 speed that you can get in the uh, ZL1 if that transmission is better and newer and, you know, just all around superior. Why wouldn't you use that in the top of the line Corvette? But maybe the eight speed is all that will fit. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but we don't know about the transmission choice either. Anyway, that's about all I have for you today. And the one thing I can say is that the video has made me much more excited about the car than I already was. Um, now I want to send it over to myself at the Duramax for a quick message. You guys wanted this, so I delivered. We now have the meat stickers. Look at it. There it is with the ham leg. We now have them available at InShaneDesigns.com. Name on the screen as well as, of course, uh, the links will be in the description but we have the meat stickers and we also I threw this into no dice uh, stickers they are available in the five inch and uh, for both of them and you can get them in a I believe a 10 inch size as well hold on I got the text from Shane here uh, we <laughs> we just did these this morning um, and we got them all done so the no dice sticker is available five and ten inch size in yellow silver chrome white and black and the meat sticker is available in 5 and 10 as well in white, black, red, blue, chrome, and yellow. So definitely head over there to get your meat sticker and your no dice sticker. It's going to be fucking great. And the best part is they're only five bucks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.